Hi, I'm Denley and this is Friday Sews. So this week in my sewing room, I was able to get some sewing done. I made these jammies for Gideon. He does love them. They have the little space on them. Let's see. I also sewed him the little vest. I didn't put buttons on it. He does not want buttons. He has a little bit of an aversion to buttons. So no buttons on it, but it is that super cute scarecrow. Yeah, so I got those two things done. And let me see. I also cut some jammies. I cut some more jammies, the little robots. The construction fabric. I also have these Ninja Turtle fabric cut. So that's three more pairs of pajamas I have cut. I just have to put the elastic and hem the bottoms and they will be ready to go. He's a size five now. And I made that with the see and sew pattern and it is B6403. Super easy one. It has a shirt pattern as well that I will probably do with the robot one because I have plenty of the robot fabric. And I don't see the vest pattern that I used. I am not sure where that is right now. So then also, let's see, did I sew anything else? No, that's all I got sewn. But my mom did crochet for, she, my mom lives here, and I just thought I would share for my granddaughter, little Elsa, crocheted Elsa. It's for her birthday. She's going to be three. Anna and Olaf and Kristoff, Kristoff, I think. I'm not sure, but the boy so yeah my mom made those I'm gonna make a little I have some frozen fabric I'm gonna make a, a little frozen bag that she can tote them around in and that'll be for her birthday so that's what I got sewn this week let's see what else um that's all I did creative wise just your typical week of taking Gideon to his therapy and school um, archery and stuff like that for my other son and just all that kind of mom stuff that's really all I got done but I did stop at a thrift store and I they were selling all their fabric on the shelves for a dollar so I was able to grab some fabric for a dollar it didn't matter if it was five yards or one yard or whatever it was every one was a dollar so I have this flannel with the trains and this is one and a third yards so this might be some more jammies it's super cute and then this one was um it doesn't really clearly say, but it is on there. Um, chicken fabric with eggs. So cute. And they were getting rid of this because they were about to get a whole bunch more fabric, they said, and pull it out. They wanted to clear off their shelves, so they just clearanced it all for a dollar. I was excited. And I didn't even notice it at first. And it was my second time I was about ready to leave and I walked by the crafting area to see if they'd brought anything new out. And then I heard this lady saying that and there was a sign that I had missed. So I almost missed the cell. I thought this was cute. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. They had it marked for $17. I got it for $1. It was four and three fourths yards. This one, flannel as well, 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Three and two thirds of a yard of this one. This pink and black one. Looks like it's a yard. And I also picked up this music note flannel. Not sure what this one's going to be. And it is one yard by three yards. So it's pretty wide too. And it's a lot of fabric right there. So I might, I'm not sure. I'm going to come up with something. <laughs> and then I also grabbed this bag. It was also $1. And it is just a mixed bag of fabrics. I'm not even sure what treasures I got. I felt like there was one more bag that I grabbed, but I haven't found it. It might have fallen out in the car, or maybe I didn't grab it. Maybe I just thought about grabbing it and didn't. I am trying to slim down my fabric and use it up. And then I come across these deals and I'm just, it's all over. That one, these are just pieces. Probably all different sizes. Under a yard. It was really weird that she said they're not even gonna sell the fabric under a yard anymore. I thought, what are you gonna do with it? That just seemed weird to me. I'd hate to think they're just gonna toss it. Hopefully they just bag it up and sell it. Sell it for a dollar. Quilters will buy it. Crafters will buy it, you know? I don't know. I hate to think of it being just thrown away. Clocks. Blue. I think it, it's kind of put in like a quilter type bag. Is how they... I like this one a lot. I try to keep all the colors together. This one, this is cute. I'm sure there's more of this. I really like the country parts. That's cute. I'm not sure this one is like a faux denim look or something. I'm not sure. So yeah, there's this whole bag of the scraps. And then there was a box that said books for free. So I grabbed these two books, Hearts and Flowers Quilt Block Designs. So that'd be fun to look through and I don't want to keep it, I'll just donate it. And then this one is Bags of Style. And there's some cute bags in here, so that could be something I do. Make a bag from the book see that yeah that'd be fun so that was my little thrift haul I was actually just trying to kill some time when my son was doing archery there's a thrift store like right next to it and I thought well I'm gonna go in there and just look around and then I was just sucked in yeah let's see what else is happening this next week we're gonna go to the museum I hope maybe might have a day that we go to the museum and that'll be fun and um, that's all that's all that's really coming up this next week it should be mellow we're still looking forward to our trip for my son who is the marine and graduating it'll be nice to have all the kids together as they get older it just doesn't happen it's been so long since they've all been together so I'm really looking forward to that definitely want to get some pictures and yeah, that's going to be about it. I hope that you have had a blessed week. And please always remember that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Bye for now.